my channel if you're new here welcome so today I'm going to be doing this ocean body paint I haven't done a full body paint in quite a while I don't think actually that's a lie I just did those mermaid makeup tutorials and that can be considered body paint anyway speaking of those tutorials I was still kind of like on my little ocean inspiration from doing the mermaid makeup look so I thought I would kind of carry that on for a little bit into like a little fun transition into the rest of the makeup looks I have planned so anyways if you guys are interested in seeing how you can create this ocean landscape body paint and makeup tutorial then just keep watching Hey guys, so to start off, I'm going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Fringe Benefit Primer and applying that all over my face to fill in my pores. Next, I will be taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in Medium Neutral and applying that all over my face with my large Morphe E6 buffing brush. Next, I will be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Creamed Powder Foundations in Mocha and Caramel and applying that to the areas that I would like to contour. And I like to personally go with Caramel first before going over it with Mocha so that you almost have a transition shade for your face and I find that it ends up blending out and looking a little bit more natural. Next, I will be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in number 14 and applying that to the areas that I would like to highlight. Because we just contoured, you also want to contrast that by highlighting and adding a little bit more brightness to your face. So I like to personally apply this under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, under my cheekbones, and my forehead as well before blending it out with my ColourPop F5 Small Fluffy Brush. We're gonna go ahead and let this bake, taking our Airspun Translucent Powder and a dry Morphe sponge and just applying this all over the areas that we highlighted so that we can let it sit while we move on to eyeshadow. You're also going to want to prep your eyeshadow, so I'm going to be taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and just applying this all over my eyelids. I'm then going to be going into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette, taking this champagne highlight color and applying this onto my brow bone just so we can have a nice pop of highlight before we start to move down onto our eye and go into the crease. I'm going to start off by taking this nude eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B Palette and applying that into the crease to serve as the transition shade before I go into this yellow color from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Palette and just applying that into the crease as well. I will then be taking this teal color from the palette and applying that into the crease, making sure to blend as I go so that we don't have any harsh lines. I'm also going to be taking this light blue eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B palette and going right over top of that to really build up and make that color more bold. I also want to add a little bit more dimension, so I'm going to be taking this royal blue and applying that into the crease as well. Taking this metallic light blue, I'm going to be applying this all over the lid just so we can have a nice bold color. And I'm going to be stopping right at the crease so that we don't interfere too much with the color that we applied into the crease earlier. Next, I'm going to be taking my Stila Diamond Dust Liquid Eyeshadow and applying this right over top of that metallic blue. Taking this yellow eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to be applying that all over my lower lash line before going back into this yellowish orange color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and applying that towards the outer corner of the lower lash line as well. We're going to do a nice bold winged liner by taking our NYX Epic Ink Liner and just applying that right on our lash line. We're then going to do a little bit more contour by taking our Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, taking medium and dark cocoa, and just deepening up the contour from earlier before we want to add a little bit more color. And I'm going to be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose and applying this to the contour as well, just so it has a little bit more color and it's not so dull. We're also going to add a little bit more warmth by taking our Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and applying this all over our face. We're going to quickly set our face with our Morphe Continuous Setting Mist before going into blush. I'm taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Honey Bunny Blush and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics palette, taking Dream and Glow and just applying that to the cheekbones and the areas that I would like to add some glow and make pop. Next, we're moving on to our chest piece. I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise Paint in light blue and applying a light wash over my chest. I'm doing just a little bit because the biggest thing about this look is to make sure that you blend as you go. So you don't want to be too heavy on a color at first. You just want to slowly build it up. I'm also going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise Paint in Teal and adding a little bit here and there on the body paint. Once again, making sure to blend it as I go by adding more water to the brush and just lightly blending the colors together. For the sand, I'm taking my NYX Total Control Foundation in porcelain and just applying a little bit right under the water. Now we want to add more depth to the water by taking our Graftobian Pro Paint in Catalina Blue and applying this in the center of our chest to indicate the deeper parts of the ocean and also the areas that are further back that you can't see. So this is going to help indicate the, you know, 
far away areas, the areas that are a little foggy and not so clear. So I'm going to be creating a light T-shape in the center of my chest. I'm also going to be taking my Maron Paradise paint in light blue again and applying this right over top of the darker color. This is going to indicate going up towards the shore and up towards the surface of the ocean. We're also going to add a little bit more color by taking our teal and doing the exact same thing and also going back in with the light blue a little bit later to kind of brighten it up a little bit more. Next, I will be taking a tiny bit of my Maron Paradise paint in black to add even more definition and depth to the ocean by applying this right over the T area before going through and blending this out with a clean brush. I wanted to add some waves and natural highlights into the water, so I'm going to be going back into my light blue paradise paint and just lightly applying this in random areas of my chest before we move on to the sea life. So I'm going to start off by taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Mantis Green and creating a little bit of sea life on my shoulders. This is going to be seaweed, kelp, just a bunch of fun stuff. I'm also going to be taking some of my Graftobian Pro Paint in Wild Violet and creating, um something else, some like coral or something on my shoulder. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I just kind of saw colors and made random plants and you know, it, it, it looked good in the end, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just kind of going with the flow as, uh, as I went along. So just uh, watch me do weird things to my body. Speaking of weird things, check out this Graftobian Pro Paint in Shocking Pink, uh, creating a little puffball in my armpits, and taking my Maron Paradise Paint in Yellow and creating um, weird coral besides yellow coral, and I, I don't know what's going on here. Next, I'm taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown and my Maron Paradise Paint in Orange, and I'm going to be taking this onto a sponge and lightly stippling it over the sand to kind of give it a more grainy effect and kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm also going to be taking my Maron Paradise Paint in White, and I'm going to be creating more highlights on the ocean floor, because if you look at pictures of the ocean, which I actually recommend finding a lot of reference photos for the way that you're wanting to paint your chest. I will insert my favorite here. I decided to create a few little highlights in the water and also create some areas where there are going to be more bubbles on the ocean floor. And so I just kind of took that, focused it more on the sand, and then also followed it up a little bit higher onto my body, rising towards the surface. I'm also going to be making a few little sea creatures on my chest, and so I have a little starfish on the ocean floor, I have a surgeon fish, and I even added a clownfish as well. We're just kind of getting some Finding Nemo vibes up in here. We're also going to be adding a few more bubbles rising towards the ocean that are probably coming from our new friendly sea creatures. Next, we're moving on to lips. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in Coral and just outlining my lips. Next, I'm going to be taking numerous ColourPop lipsticks and I'm going to be taking On Repeat, Ghosted, and Uno Mas and just finding my best combination on my lips. I honestly used all of these. There were probably like five to six layers of lipstick on my lips because I couldn't figure out which one I liked best, but I finally got it after like, you know, 12 layers, it's fine. We're going to prep our eyelashes by curling them before taking our Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and sweeping that through our eyelashes. We're also going to be applying our Kiss Lash Couture Lashes in Brazier right on top of our lash line. Next, we're going to be adding a little bit more sparkle to this makeup look. I'm going to be taking my Lemonhead Crystal Tokyo Space Jam and Seek Punk Space Jam and just lightly brushing this over my chest. The biggest thing is to try and not have it be too congested to where it literally looks like you just threw glitter on your chest. You want it to be nice and spread out, so you can either apply it with a brush or a chip brush. We're also going to be taking our Smashbox Luster Lip Gloss and applying that onto our lips. And last but not least, we're going to be taking our NYX Faux White Baby Powder Eyeliner and applying that to our waterline. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Speaking of subscribing, I am going to be starting to upload my Halloween tutorials starting next Monday, October 1st. So make sure you turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I start to do that so you guys can start to get some Halloween ideas. So with all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.